praise of Aventus when I'm grocery shopping When I'm walking down the street you can hear the panties dropping Rookie boy, drag doc and the Brooklyn fragrance lover When you smell me coming then you better run for cover Bill of sea material or silver mountain water When I'm coming to your city better lock up your daughter Tobacco, vanilla, ooh, wood and Tuscan leather I wear those motherfuckers even in hot weather Jeremy fragrance and casket scents beware Cause I'm puffing up projection like I just don't care If it's odor puff room or if it's odor toilette I'm gonna leave a trail of sea ash that you'll never forget Mr. Lex Ellis, you will soon be crying Cause I'm gonna out project you or I'm gonna die trying They call me Mr. Smelly and I'm known as a charmer Cause I'm wearing 15 sprays of goddamn aqua de Palma. Okay, so in doing this uh, top 10 panty droppers, you know, we are not for one moment suggesting that simply spraying a fragrance will make you instantly attractive to the opposite sex or successful with women. Only an idiot would think that. So you like the scent on me? I do, yes. It, maybe we could go for a drink sometime. Uh, are you free at the weekend? I'm not. Right. What would his chances be? Oh, no chance. <laughs> Zero. Cut. First impressions. A bit like washing up, oh, washing up liquid. You smell this one. So Shit. mark out of ten no. on your what, first impression. What, what that one? Yeah. Four. So here we go. It's the top ten panty dropper fragrances, also known as maybe the top ten compliment getters. So I'm going to do something a little bit different with the way I'm going to do this one. Uh, I'm going to split it into two halves. I'm going to do two separate top fives. The first top five is going to be what I think are the top 10 from my extensive internet research, watching loads of YouTube videos. I watch a lot of fragrance review videos all the time. It's, it's how I spend my spare time, sadly. Uh, and so I've, I've tried to just get a good guesstimate from what I can see of other people's uh, video reviews and other comments online of what are the real top five big hitters that ladies really like uh, when it comes to men's fragrances. The second top five that I'm going to be, going to be doing is completely separate, and that's going to be the top five in my personal experience that have given me good success uh, with, with members of the opposite sex or that I, I have felt have coincided with good things happening for me if you like. So we've got two separate top fives. Here goes with the first one and uh, let's get started. At number five, I'm going with a tie because these fragrances are so similar. It's Versace Pour Homme uh, and Allure Homme Sport by Chanel. Uh, these are both fresh aquatic scents. They smell clean and fresh and sporty and there's very little to choose in terms of the scent and all the evidence suggests that women really like these. I have tested the Versace per home on uh, women out in the streets and they really liked it. Also I notice one or other of these comes up a lot of the time when you see women doing top five men's fragrances and stuff like that. Maybe not fragrance reviewers uh, as such but women who do these beauty uh, channels and beauty tips in general they often have a men's top five fragrances and one or other of these two very often there I reckon they will get you compliments they are well liked they smell fresh and manly. Okay, next up at number four, kind of a controversial one, everyone talks about this fragrance, it's Creed Aventus. Okay, so this has cropped up enough in the biggest complimented lists for me to say it's definitely gotta be in here. It crops up in a lot of the lists for where women are telling you their top five, sometimes not fragrance specialists, but it's, it's there enough for me to think it's good. It's a lovely fragrance, it's very expensive. We won't say anything about Jeremy Fragrance's exploits on the rooftops of Cologne, but he certainly thinks that it works for him. And we'll certainly leave out the, the details of what happened with me in the car park of the Red Lion with, with the barmaid last week, but uh, definitely this one can give results, it does seem from what people say. Okay, so now for a little bonus feature. Um, I bumped into an old school friend, Adam, in the pub on Friday night, got talking to him for the first time in years, and it turns out he's got a really good Creed fragrance collection. So he was wearing Creed Aventus, he also owned Dior Sauvage, so I did a little bit of a blind uh, test for him, and he had to sniff both fragrances without knowing which one was which. Let's see if he can guess which is Creed Aventus and which is Dior Sauvage. Okay, so here we go, Creed Aventus versus Dior Sauvage. Okay, that's the first one. One more, quickly. Aventus or Sauvage? One word. That's the Aventus. That is the Aventus. And that one? 
That's the survive. Moving on at number three, it's one that I don't own, but I've, I've seen enough videos and enough reviews about people saying it gets those of compliments. I think it deserves to be in there. So it's going to be Thierry Mugler's Pure Malt. Uh, a boozy, rich, sweet fragrance with a nice manly richness about it. Great for the winter. And although I don't own it, it's cropped up enough uh, and being complimented enough, according to other people, that it just keeps coming up there, keeps coming up a lot. And I think, you know, more than some things like DHI, Dior Rum Intense, this one seems to be a surefire winner with the ladies. So I would put it in at number three. Okay, number two. It's another one I don't own, sadly. And uh, it's Bleu de Chanel or Bleu de Chanel. Uh, so this one is a very safe mainstream fragrance with a nice opening of uh, citrus fre freshness with a kind of grapefruit opening and some ginger and some incense in there. It's a very nice scent and it wasn't really highly rated when it first came out. But from what I can tell, it crops up enough with women saying these are my favorite or my husband or my boyfriend. P women really like this scent. It's a surefire winner. It's a safe bet. For us fragrance enthusiasts, it's not the most thrilling fragrance in the world but all the evidence out there suggests this one really gets the job done ladies love it number one this could be controversial uh, and this is what I said in my last video I'm not going to rush out and buy it but actually I did just that purely because I have the fragrance review channel I thought it's such a, a talked about an important scent in the world of fragrances that I need to own it so I can go out and test it on people so my number one spot goes to the infamous Dior Sauvage. Okay, so much maligned in the fragrance community for being a little bit generic and dull. And I tend to agree that it doesn't do anything too spectacular, but what it does do, it does very well. It has a very fresh opening again, and it uh, goes down to a kind of woodiness after that, and a kind of fresh, clean soapiness, I think, with a slightly sort of synthetic, generic citrus thing that, that hangs around the whole time it smells manly it smells clean and it's very well done it's, it's a really well done mass market mass appealing scent that is fresh clean and manly and evidence suggests evidence on the internet evidence from people i know in fact suggests that ladies really like this one i did take this one out as soon as i got it on friday i took it out to the pub uh, this weekend and i got some feedback from women and you can see the feedback is really, really good. And actually something interesting happened. Uh, a friend of a friend in the pub was uh, sniffing this when I was trying it out on people. And he said, can I have a couple of sprays of that? So I let him, he put a bit on himself and he said that the effect on his uh, wife or girlfriend, I forget which, that evening was was uh, very noticeable and favorable and she really liked it. So he, he had a good night thanks to Dior Sauvage. Okay, so now we get the opinion of two women from the pub comparing Creed Aventus to Dior Sauvage. Which one will they prefer? Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to Mrs. Smelly's Fragrance Review. So here we have on camera... Natasha. Natasha and... Not, this is Fragrance 1. Okay, go. That's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Any words that spring to mind? Like fruity. Yeah, citrusy, fruity. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Eight. 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 E
very tasteful, nothing anyone could dislike, and I've had good evenings with this, and I have had a couple of compliments uh, from men actually saying you smell really good, and probably if you get compliments from men, saying you smell good. Ladies are smelling that too, but maybe they're not gonna say it because they don't wanna give you the green light. They don't wanna be looking like they're giving you a come on. It's quite hard to get uh, unsolicited comments from ladies, I think. Uh, but this one, yeah, really works well for me and uh, I would recommend it. Okay, next up for me, it's gonna be in my personal top five, Valentino Uomo. So I've uh, looked on the internet as well actually with this one and there is a, good, a fair amount of evidence to say uh, ladies really like it. Uh, the reviewer Waha Sahas, she does some really good reviews of men's fragrances and she spoke very highly of this one. And me personally, I've had really good feedback when I have asked a few uh, female friends and even my sister about this one. They, she said it was one of the favorite ones when I was getting to her to test some of my fragrances. So I think this is a real winner with women. Uh, Valentino Uomo has a kind of nutty hazelnut thing with some myrtle in there and a little bit similar to Dior Homme and Dior Homme Intense but it does its own thing and I think it could be really worth trying great scent and I think it's a, it's a winner with women from, from what I can tell okay next up then Aqua di Parma Colonia Essenza this one smells absolutely fantastic I have had some good compliments on this believe it or not yes folks it has happened uh, a couple of people at work said I smelled really good and like a man who really knew what he was all about which could hardly be more wrong, but never mind. It was a man who said that, but I had a good compliment on this one. And also, I did have an unsolicited comment from a woman with whom I had a nice evening once. Uh, this one has a really nice citrusy opening and some very complex floral stuff underneath. It's a bit like Neroli Portofino, but made a little bit more masculine and butch, I think, which... Uh, cannot be a bad thing so for me I've had really good experiences wearing this and other times when I've worn it out and I felt like I got a bit of good flirtation going with women they maybe didn't give me a direct compliment but I got home and I thought hey I was wearing that one again it seems to work I seem to have good evenings with this one so I'm going to say yes Aqua di Parma Colonia Essenza despite the girl in one of my videos giving it four out of ten I think it's got a good chance of giving you success with the ladies. Okay, coming in at number two for me, one you would not expect in any top 10 panty dropper list, but it's making mine. It's Creed Bois de Portugal. Okay, so the reason I put this one in there is I love how confident I feel when I wear this one and it creates a really nice aura. It's got great projection and longevity. And I went into a bar a couple of months ago went up to the bar to order a drink and the lady in a group of three ladies standing next to me said, hi sexy. Now that wasn't a direct compliment about the fragrance, but I can't help thinking it played a big part because I knew I was projecting a lot. And um, you know, if, if anyone says to me, hi sexy, I consider that pretty much what the effect I'm going for. Don't rule out some of these under the radar Creed fragrances. So last but not least, it's my current favorite. It's Mancera Cedrat Boise. Really great fragrance, similar to Creed Aventus a little bit. So we've got lemon on the top there and we've got um, some cedar wood, of course, as the name would suggest, Cedrat Boise. And there's a vanilla thing under there and black currant is, I think, a note that we get in there. So really nice, fresh, fruity scent. And I wore this on a date last week and uh, the, I was talking to the lady, I pretty soon ran out of anything interesting to say, so I had to resort to telling her that I had a YouTube fragrance review channel, which got us onto that subject, and I had a little decant of this with me, so I said, what do you think of this one? I sprayed a little bit more on my wrist uh, on top of what I'd already applied, and her response was to attempt to bite my wrist. Honestly, that really happened. So, although it wasn't an unsolicited comment, it was a bit of a forced one, I think those kind of really visceral, those kind of animalistic reactions can only be good for a fragrance. And other than that, I felt that I've smelled really good wearing it. Tried it out on a couple of male friends and they said they really liked it too. So I think this one could be a little bit of an interesting one to wear. It's great to wear something not everybody's heard of as well, of course. So this one, Mancera Cedrat Bois, a little bit more unusual. Sounds good when people ask you what you're, you're wearing. And it smells right up there. As, any, every bit as good as Creed Aventus. Maybe a bit more likable for ladies because just more sweet and fruity without the smokiness which might put them off from that that birchwood note in the creed so for me number one in my personal top five panty dropper most complimented list is mancera cedratois thank you for watching i look forward to joining you all again soon